Hey Trans World 96 here with another video review. This time we have the Star Wars The Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch Poe Dameron figure. So yeah. So this is part of the uh, articulated 3 and 3 quarter inch series from The Force Awakens. These are Walmart exclusive figures. And uh, they are $12.83 a piece, which is very unfortunate. Um, uh, more than 25% overpriced uh, compared to the uh, compared to any other 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. So very disappointing that they do have such a high price tag, but I am happy that we do have an articulated 3 and 3 quarter inch series. Overall packaging is basically just scaled down versions of the 6 inch black series. Uh, packaging. So yeah, so let's uh, start off with Poe Dameron here. Overall looking quite nice. This was a figure that originally I didn't have intentions to buy. Um, I thought that the product pictures made it look like his legs or thighs were really wide and uh, uh, not placed very well. Seeing it in person did um, uh, allow me to buy it though because it really doesn't look too bad in person. It is just the uh, production images that do make it look very strange, but in person it looks alright, so I did decide to pick this one up. And uh, I did like Poe Dameron's character a lot in the movie, so I do uh, enjoy having a Poe Dameron figure here. So, first of all, going over the face sculpt. Quite nice. Obviously the X-Wing pilot Poe Dameron from the 6 inch scale looks pretty terrible. This one, however, looks pretty decent. Um, I think that the best Poe Dameron likeness that we have so far is the uh, the one from the Resistance pack with the Riot Trooper. Um, but uh, this one looks quite nice. I do like it a lot. They've even kind of uh, shaded the bottom of his uh, his jawline there to give him a, a um, almost uh, 5 o'clock shadow type of look thing. So overall, I think they've done that really nicely. It's a very small detail, but it is noticeable, which is good. His outfit is sculpted really nicely. As you can see, some fantastic wrinkles. You do have some great texture in the torso there as well. And just looks really nice. Really does look like an actual outfit, which is very cool. The uh, six inch version does an amazing job sculpting all these uh, small details. So this one does follow suit with that. The only thing that I think is a little strange is that he does have, it, it's kind of a flat orange, but it, does, it is darker in some places, which I like. It makes it look like it's kind of been shaded in a bit, except around the neck. Around the neck, I see no shading or no darkness whatsoever. So he's got like a really bright orange around his neck and then the rest of it is kind of a, a, a dark orange so it is kind of strange it gives it that weird look but uh it's something that is quite minor his little i don't know what you call this i want to say like oxygen pack or something got some nice detail there and he does have a hose that goes down the hose is slightly movable which allows him to actually be able to use his bulger and upper torso which is good and overall, just looking like a pretty solid figure the paint is it's painted quite well even in the uh these small details with the um it's kind of focusing on his back leg there. There we go. The, yeah, on these little canisters, they're painted quite nicely. There's a bit of orange on them, but I, I think that might even be intentional because it, it does look pretty decent and it looks even. So overall, it's painted quite nicely. Going over articulation is pretty good. You've got a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders. You've got hinge swivel elbows. The hinge doesn't work too well. You get less than 90 degrees, which is a shame. You have hinge swivel wrist. Wish that the hinge was black to match his glove. Instead, the hinge is orange though, which is very weird. Got a ball joint upper torso, slightly hindered by the hose turning him this way. Obviously this way he's completely free though. You've got ball jointed thighs. These are the type of thighs where you have to twist them to the side to bring the joint forward so that you can actually bring the leg forward. And then you can twist the knees to straighten out his leg again. So uh, if that does annoy you, that type of joint, I'm sorry, but uh, that's what these guys have. It's something that really doesn't annoy me too much. I'm pretty used to it. I've never really had too much of a problem with that. The only issue is you have to twist his leg on this side to do the same thing, which does uh, stress the cord a bit. So you can't really turn his, his body like this way very much at all while you have the leg swiveled out to bring his leg up. So you do have to make some uh, some adjustments when trying to pose him and uh, take into account the cord and everything because you don't want that to stress or, or, uh, or break or anything like that. Then he has hinge swivel at the knees and then hinge swivel at the ankles. Again the ankle joint is painted orange when I wish it was black. Um, doesn't look as bad on the ankle though, but it's definitely very noticeable as you can see on the wrist, which is a shame. He does come with a uh, pistol. Same type of pistol that he uh, that the 6 inch version comes with. He never uses it in the movie, but uh, both figures have it. I believe the Elite Series one has it too. That, that figure should be coming today for me. Uh, and as you can see, it can fit right in his holster. It fits very nicely and everything, so it looks good there. He comes with one other accessory other than the gun. He comes with his signature helmet, of course. The helmet is quite nice, as you can see. It's black with some red 
and uh, gray details, and then a translucent yellow visor. Do have the resistance symbol on the side there, which is nice. Overall, very cool. He can hold it or he can just fit it right over his head. As you can see, it fits quite nicely. It really does, and uh, you can even see his eyes through it if you're looking at it with some light there, so that's pretty cool. Overall, it does look very nice, and I do like it on him a lot. So overall, pretty decent figure, you know, I, not amazing, like it's not it's not something that I would completely recommend unless you're a big Poe Dameron fan. If you like Poe Dameron, you like the Three and Three Quarter series with, uh, that has good articulation, then this is a good one for you. Um, if not, I don't think he's the most interesting character of them all, so I would, um, I wouldn't, this would probably be, if I had to not get one figure from this series, this would probably be the one that I didn't get, but it, it says nothing bad about the figure. The figure itself is quite nice, it's just, um... Fig or character-wise, I do like Poe Dameron, but I'd rather have Rafe and a Stormtrooper and Kylo Ren before I bought the Poe Dameron figure. But overall, quite nice, and thanks so much for watching.